All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft for the first time in absolutely ages We're gonna be checking out a single command block creation thing uh, Maybe you remember these from the past for some reason I kind of forgot about them for a little while uh, So since it's been so long there are quite a few new ones out there Maybe over the course of the next little while we'll check out a few of them depending upon how people seem to be interested in it anyway this one, uh, it's by, you may remember him, his name is IJ Minecraft, made a lot of the ones we checked out in the past. And this machine gives us, uh, it, well, it's called Realistic Mechanics by IJ Minecraft, and it gives us really little small tweaks to Minecraft. I think a couple of them were included in earlier commands of his, uh, but they're pretty cool. They're just minor little details that make some cool little changes to the world that maybe some of you might appreciate so they're all listed here on the back you can toggle them on and off just by right clicking on the signs depending upon what you want what you don't want so we'll start off uh, from the top and we'll go on down to the bottom all right first things first tree capitator you'll need to be in survival for this to work but I mean again the point of all these things is probably you're playing around in survival anyway so that's not a big deal tree capitator a lot of you are familiar with the mod just break the bottom block, the rest of the tree comes down, and then the leaves will disintegrate over time. It doesn't actually get all the leaves to, to decay at once, uh, but all the wood above where you mined will, uh, well, as long as it's immediately adjacent blocks, they'll get destroyed, you can pick them all up, and uh, pretty convenient and fantastic, as most of you who use the mod would know, myself included. It's kind of the best, actually. So uh, that's... That's Tree Capitator. You'll see some of the other stuff going on. I'll just point it out in the same order that it is, uh, it's is—it's on there. Oh, and if you were wondering, it works when you use your fist as well. It doesn't have to be an axe. I was just using an axe so I could do it quicker. But still, you're good to go. If the thing is toggled on on the machine, then uh, you're doing great. It's working no matter what. It's quite convenient. Next up, we've got automatic seed placing. Now, you may have noticed as these trees were decaying over here, we got a couple new birch saplings that are in the ground. The reason for that is that while these leaves decay, and hopefully one of these will cooperate as we're recording here, if a sapling drops on the ground, it'll actually, if you don't pick it up for a few seconds, it'll automatically plant itself. Now, if these trees don't necessarily want to cooperate, I can always just go and you know, place a, a sapling on the ground myself, but maybe if we just break a few more of these trees around here, one of them will drop a sapling on the ground and I'll be able to catch it in the nick of time. We'll say, oh, something just got planted there. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Something's got, oh, oh, okay. We got one right here. Hold on, I'll let it fall to the ground. Destroy that, and then, wait for it. There it goes, automatically plants itself. So if you wanna have a tree farm that you don't worry about, you know, being all evenly spaced, you can just destroy the trees. They'll automatically replant the saplings and then eventually they'll grow. So uh, kind of convenient. Not so much if you care about, you know, the organization and placement, but otherwise, if you're just breaking trees in the wild, they'll automatically replant, it's pretty nifty. Next up, we've got raining leaves. I'm sure you've noticed this as I was walking around already, but stand in an area for a couple seconds or so and it'll start registering. I think it's just based around your player location. Um, otherwise, if it was doing it all over the world, it would cause some lag, but here we go. So these are just falling leaves. It looks really nice, actually. Um, I forget the mod that does it. Maybe it's the weather mod, I think, that makes it so when you're in a forest, you get like leaf particles falling from the trees, but it looks, I like it. I like it a lot, just a nice little visual aesthetic change that looks kind of cool. Uh, I don't think it adds too much in the way of lag again because it's kind of just based around where your player is located at any given time. So, yeah, pretty nifty. Falling leaves. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you saw it already, but it's the order on there. Next up, we've got trample paths. Yet again, something that I'm sure you noticed as I was walking around. But as you walk over any grass, It'll wear down into dirt, just regular dirt, and then as you walk over it more, then it'll turn into a, a beaten path. So as you uh, as you find places in your world that you're walking pretty regularly, eventually it'll turn into a, a natural path, and you can follow it back and forth. Again, you can if this is something that you're not a big fan of, I can see how it might be a little bit polarizing. Some people might like it, some people might not. You can just toggle it by going on here turn it off and then uh, when you walk around it's not going to turn anything to dirt. I mean you'll have to you'll have to replace any grass that had this happen to it already but uh, it won't do it anymore. But for the sake of this we'll leave it on so uh, yeah that's trample paths. 
Next up, we've got slower and high grass. You just got a glimpse of that for a moment. But, um, you know, as you're walking through high grass, it simulates if you were in the rugged bush, something like that. You know, it'd be pretty hard to walk through. You'd be getting caught on vines and on leaves and stuff. And, and so you'd be going really slowly. And so that's, that's what this is, slower and tall grass. If you don't like it, which I'm sure some people might not be a fan of, even though it adds to the realism effect of this stuff, which is the whole point of it, realistic mechanics, uh, you can always turn it off. Once again, boom, and then we're uh, we're off. We're moving along. We're off to the race once again. It's not a big deal. You're good to go, and it works in survival or creative. Not a not a big deal either way. Okay, next up we got slower in cold areas. That's why I have this little area set up over here. I can be in survival, creative, etc. It doesn't really matter for it. I'll switch on over to survival just so we can show that you also have mining fatigue when you're in this area. So it'll take me a lot longer to destroy this dirt block by hand or the snow block for that matter. Uh, now there is a way to solve this. I believe this one might have been included in a previous command that I did uh, quite a while ago by IJ Minecraft once again. Uh, but if you have a torch or a bucket of lava in your inventory, it'll mitigate the effects. So I can just, you know, do whatever here. I don't have the effects. I can destroy the, the block of dirt. We're all good. I can destroy the snow. Not a big deal. I can run around. I'm not slow. I don't have any of the effects. Same goes for the lava. So I have a lava bucket in my inventory, then we're good to go as well. No effects, no mining fatigue, that sort of thing. Uh, but take it out and you're going real slow. You're not mining things. So keep that in mind. If you have this thing and you're in a, in a cold environment or in tall grass, I just went into tall grass again. Second to last here, we've got the lily pad break. So pretty self-explanatory just by the name. But, you know, naturally, if you were out there jumping on lily pads, unless you're just a tiny little baby and you're in a baby advertisement where like a baby's on a lily pad or something, lily pad's probably not going to be able to hold your weight. So we'll just go into survival here. And if I try to walk on lily pads, uh, they're going to break beneath me. It doesn't really work. Now, it doesn't like every time it doesn't break. And uh, dude said that was a bug. Except that I think it's kind of cool because you know you you can chance it. You're like, well, maybe there's maybe there's a chance the lily pad's not gonna break on me. It's only like a it's only like a ninety percent chance it's gonna break or something like that. So I personally, if I were Mr. IJ of Minecraft, I'd pass it off as a feature and not a bug, even though he said it was a bug. But I think it works even better. But uh, it just means you can't really stand on lily pads and parkour across the water. Something again. Uh, people might like doing so if you live near a swamp and you use lily pads as a kind of path then uh, Might not be the best thing for you, but in any case again makes it more Realistic so that is uh, that's lily pad breakage for you last but not least We've got low health effects, which again I think is borrowed from a command I checked out of his uh, a while back But we'll revisit it because why not so if we put down a cactus here, which I'll use to slowly chip away at my health um, we'll be able to see what this is. So, as I walk into things that do damage to me, it'll, uh, it'll emit some blood particles that you can see there. The more health that I lose, the more blood particles that we'll see coming out, and the lower I get, the more and more and more, and uh, when you get beyond a, beyond a certain threshold, they're just kind of constantly bleeding all over the place, which is, it's very pretty pretty picture to see if you're in first person you're like oh god I should probably uh, eat some food I should probably heal myself and then you know you lose a little bit more health and then uh, you're slower you're bleeding all over the place you start getting nauseous uh, it just it doesn't look very good it's not a good look for you you got slowness too, nausea you're probably honestly you're gonna you're gonna want to go and get your health back up because this is pretty it's pretty terrible this is not not going to be very helpful for you going throughout the world. But if you want an added challenge, I mean, this will certainly do it. You're trying to run away from a monster. You're nauseous. You got slowness too. You're walking through tall grass that's slowing you down even more. But then, oh no, you've ended up in like a snow biome for some terrible catastrophic reason. You can't even break through the wall of the cave that you've entered because you got mining fatigue too. And uh, then you die. It's pretty unfortunate, but at the very least, you've got. Uh, let me just let me just get out of here real quick with this because um, it's unpleasant. That's why I gave myself food in the first place. Okay, okay, much better. Ooh, but at least you'll have a, a nice path in the ground carved out in order to lead you back to where you died. So look on the bright side. Anyway, uh, that'll about do it. <laughs> 
for this command, the realistic mechanics command. Uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link to the original video and all that in the description. And uh, that's about it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see me check out more of the recent ones uh, of these single command block creations, let me know. And we'll go from there. All right. I'll see you next time.